Hey Audrey, what are you doing down there? Oh, can you see my face? <laughs> I'm actually sniffing at Everest, the Wakia Chalensis. It is ready now and it's like producing this most foul smell. <laughs> but uh, it's actually quite interesting, this Everest Wakia, because it attracts flies or gnats as pollinator, which is why it's so stinky. Um, but you see how it's prostrate, and this is the flower. So look at this. Like, you know, the common name is Dutchman's Pipe, and it's from Chile, hence the name Chilensis. And in the local language, it's actually called fox ears because of the hair. And you notice it's interesting that the hair is all downward pointing. And this is all an interesting design because the pollinator, so either a fly or a gnat, will be entering the flower through the opening. But because the hair is downward pointing, they actually cannot climb back out. So they'll be carrying the pollen, they will enter the flower. So I will actually cut this open to show you how it looks inside. So this actually is a calyx, it's fused to form the pipe, but the flower and the reproductive organs are way inside. So it's actually really small. So this is called a gynostemium. It's the male and female part fused together. And the sticky part is actually the receptive stigma. And so like the fly will be carrying the pollen from another Aristolochia chalensis flower. And in its like frantic attempt to escape, it will inevitably brush some pollen onto this receptive stigma. At this point, they have no food. They may starve. They're like trapped in there for a day. Uh, and the flower would start wilting the hair and that presents an escape route for the fly or the gnats. So they can actually fly out and hopefully carrying also, you know, the pollen from this flower then um, to pollinate some other flower without it starving, you know, its pollinator. So yeah, it's quite interesting, isn't it?